Turning our attention now to a record number of Indian origin MPs from the newly elected parliament in Britain. Radhika Ayer travelled to Leicester, which has the most number of Indian origin voters, to meet one young woman at 29 who, despite the Labour wave, won as member of parliament on a Conservative Party ticket. Here's possibly why Indians are making waves in Britain. I swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles is heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. 29 years of age, a graduate in cosmetic pharma and a first-time politician. Leicester, the bustling city in England with over 50% of its population being British Indian, voted for Shivani Raja as their MP. Leicester has been a labour bastion for nearly four decades and this July things changed. Leicester is the only seat the Conservative Party gained in the 2024 general election. I swear by Almighty God that I will be... Shivani joins a big number of Indian origin MPs that made it to the parliament, taking an oath on the Bhagavad Gita like Rishi Sunak did when he swore in as the first Indian origin Prime Minister of Britain in 2022. It was a truly memorable and honourable moment for me. Um, I remember standing in line with many other MPs from really diverse backgrounds and there was a lot of excitement and we were all just eager to stand tall and represent the constituencies that we were elected in. So a real humbling and special moment for me that I'll treasure forever. So indeed, you know, the country was clearly ready for a change and I'm really grateful that Leicester was definitely ready for a change. We've had over four, you know, almost 40 years of Labour administration right here in the city and not much to show for it. A record number of Indian origin British MPs became MP candidates and more than 24 British Indians became MPs in the parliament. This new parliament in Britain looks very diverse, younger and inclusive. Political experts say British Indians were otherwise shy of even expressing their views publicly until recently. But now in the UK, politics, technology or business, there is representation, voice and very visible participation. Yes, um, it is surprising that so many um, members of the British Indian diaspora have become involved in politics. In the 70s and 80s, 60s, 70s and 80s, uh, when they started to come over in greater numbers, they absolutely kept their head down and away from politics and focused on business and, f and development within their families. Um, but into the third generation of British Hindus, it's very interesting that they have integrated a lot more. In Oxford, we find that they're coming up now studying humanities subjects. They're studying theology and religion and philosophy to do with their own tradition in a way that they didn't in previous generations. They focused on uh, pharmacy and, and medicine and engineering and, and computer science and uh, things that essentially uh, consolidated them as, as the wealthiest and best educated uh, diaspora group in the UK, but they they weren't as involved with the humanities, they weren't as involved with government, with the police, etc. Now they are. The buzzword this election has been, it's time for change. And it did come with a bigger representation, reflects a rising engagement politically by British Indians, also screaming it loud and clear about their broader success in Britain immigration, citizenship issues and other policies surrounding matters of the Indian diaspora would be reflected more and more with more representation in the British Parliament by British Indians. Radhika Iyer in Leicester.